Are you enjoying Final Fantasy VII Rebirth but want to get even stronger? Well, farming XP and AP will be the way to do this so you can get the ultimate build set up. Upgrading your materia makes a massive difference and is required to get the most out of your characters, but with some of the most powerful materia needing literal thousands and thousands of AP to increase in level, you will want to avoid wasting as much time as possible during your farming. So if you want to max everything out, we have you covered here with some farming locations for both the mid to early game and end game, so drop a like if we've helped you out and subscribe for all the other guides we have on the channel for you. Because some of the most extremely useful materia like Magnify, Elemental, HP, Strength, magic up and more require a ton of AP to level up but make a massive difference in the hardest fights in the VR missions and hard mode you will want to do some farming. This can take hours and hours to do normally but luckily we have several ways to dramatically increase how much XP and AP you gain effectively making farming double, triple or even six times faster with just a few items and techniques. Firstly, let's talk about XP because the max level is 70 in this and you would likely finish the game around level 40 to 50. Luckily, XP is fairly easy to get and so is hitting the max level. It's faster than farming AP, so my advice would be to focus on farming AP first because you'll get XP along the way anyway, and this way you're maximizing how much time you spend farming things. Simply because it takes way longer to max out all your materia than it does to hit max level. You can actually find the XP up materia in the Temple of the Ancients towards the end of the story in the labyrinth floor first tier penitential font. This is great because it will double the XP a character will get making your farming to 70 much faster. If you do want to spend time manually farming to 70 though we do have a nice thing that you can repeat quite easily once you've beat the game and have access to hard mode. If you replay chapter 13 in hard mode and travel to the classified intel in the grasslands here you can fight the Quetzal Quattle back to back and it's fairly easy to fight even after just beating the game. This will give you around 40 to 50k XP per kill, and after some back to back runs, your party will be 70 in no time, giving you a ton of extra weapon SP to level up your folios. But next, let's talk about AP because this is where the real grind begins, and luckily, we have some ways to dramatically improve how fast you can do this. First up is, of course, the AP up materia, and you can get four of these. These will double the linked materia's AP, making it effectively two times faster to level things up, which is very nice, especially for those purple and blue materia that need lots of of leveling up. You get one in the early game after the grasslands in the mithril mine in the tunnel number one area within the old republic tunnels. So you can get this very early which is super helpful or go back in chapter select if you missed it and pick this up. A second one can be obtained in the Mount Nibble combat simulation called Chthonian Rondo. And there's a third one also in the combat simulation in the Coral Battle Intel Badland Beasts. For the final one, you will need to do the six person bout undulating quartet in the Golden Saucer in the Musclehead Coliseum. After you've got all of the AP ups, there's another item that you will 100% want to get before you start farming. It's the Chocobo Armband. This thing only comes with two materia slots, but anything in those slots will actually gain three times the normal AP, making this a must have for farming. The thing is you can actually link the AP up materia in this, giving a single materia in the other slot six times the normal AP, which is very useful for power leveling something specific that you want to max out. To get this one, you will need to complete the Mount Nibble region side quest, Esoteric Secrets of the Elders. This side quest gives a few rewards, but the armband is what you really want. Firstly, you need to capture the chocobo of this region by luring it past the growing cactuses that are blocking its path. Then you need to ride the chocobo using its ability to collect 30 choco grass that will be floating all over the region mostly above the water. After this, you then need to beat the chocobo sage at a 1v1 race. It might take a few goes to learn the map and when to drift, and we actually beat this on our first try so just go in confident. After finishing this, you will finally get the chocobo armband, making your farming three or six times faster. And then you will want to know where you should actually farm, and we have two suggestions for you guys, one that's easy to do in the mid game in Gongaga, and another that will be unlocked later in the game in the combat simulator. I personally leveled up all of my materia in this Gongaga region farm. It's easy, fast, repeatable, great for maxing things out with very little effort, and you can chill out while you do this to watch or listen to something on the side. It's great to note 
that all party members will gain XP and AP if they are active characters in the chapter that you're playing, so you can literally slot in all of the material you want to level up on your non-party members and they will start gaining AP as you farm. With this in mind, I use the Chocobo armband on Red 13 who isn't in my active party and he will still gain the AP bonus of AP up and the Chocobo armband even though he's actually not in combat. Chapter 12 is a great option to farm because all the characters are active and available to you, but Chapter 13 is also good, however Kate Sith will not be active so he won't gain AP if you do Chapter 13. I've also tested the AP you gain in Normal and Hard mode and it seems like it's the same. So for my farming spot, I recommend doing this in Normal mode because it's much faster to kill the enemies and thus more effective over time. In the Gongaga region, right to the south of the map, you will find an industrial dock area called the Cliffside Storage. This is an easy fast travel point to locate and has four groups of mobs nearby it that you can kill very fast and they're very close to each other meaning you can get AP really quickly. I use Cloud and slot in the first strike materia and then basically just spam triple slash so this speeds it up and destroys them really quickly so you can do this while you're basically half focusing. You want to rotate through this area like I do clearing out each group of enemies until you've finished the entire loop. Once all four enemies have been killed, go to a spot just away from where they spawn, save your game and then load it again. This is faster than changing region and fast traveling back. When you save and load it will keep your progress but respawn all of the enemies, allowing you to immediately go back into killing the four groups in this area to rinse and repeat over and over. You will gain literal thousands of AP over time very quickly, and remember your AP up material will be doubling it and your chocobo will be tripling it or times sixing it if you use both. I've done the math on this farm and it takes around 60 to 80 seconds to complete one run including the save and load time. Let's be conservative and say it takes the full 80 seconds. You're getting 75 AP per run which of course will be doubled 250 with AP up or times 6 to 450 per run if you have it on the chocobo band with the AP up. Because there's 3600 seconds in an hour and it's around 80 seconds per run, that is 45 runs per hour and at 75 AP per run, that's 3375 AP per hour, not including the double AP, triple or times 6 AP. If we include the times 6 AP to power level 1 materia, that's 20,250 AP per hour from doing this. And that isn't including the fact that all of this AP is applied to all of your character's materia, exponentially increasing how much you're getting over this time period. I really hope this one helps you guys out because I couldn't believe how good of a spot this was once I found it. And remember, because it's in the open world, all of your party members will gain that AP, not just the active three in combat. But next up, we have another great farm that will only work for the three active party members because it's in the combat simulation, making this one worth it when you have a select few materia to level up instead of having it across all of the available characters. Once again, slot in first strike on cloud, or if you want to speed it up even more, use the magnum materia with fire to do it very quickly. Basically, you want to run the Grasslands region intel level 2 or 1 depending on your progression, and these are extremely easy enemies to defeat, only taking a few seconds per round. In the combat simulator, the next round will start automatically once you've cleared the current one, and you can repeat it after you've finished, making this very effective to do back to back without having to save and load. Remember, this only applies to materia in the active party for this one, so you are a bit limited on what you can level up because it will have to be slotted in on your combat team. But because of how fast this is and you can just instantly loop it, it's a very efficient farm as well. Put in the comments any extra farms that you guys have found so we can all learn together as a community and subscribe for more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth coming your way soon.